Hello, I'm Sandro Prusa, the CEO of OSPI, the Ontario Society of Professional Engineers. I'd like to begin by first wishing that you are doing well and keeping healthy and safe during the COVID-19 pandemic. During these unprecedented times, there have been many updates and new program announcements that continue to be released by all levels of government aimed at providing new support. OSPI staff have been busy working to keep our members informed of these updates, as well as working with our various engineering, industry, and government partners to ensure that your needs, concerns, and offers of assistance are conveyed to the most appropriate body. I hope you had an opportunity to listen to our first update brought to you by our president and chair of the board, Dr. Tibor Churi. If not, you can find it on the COVID-19 updates page of our website at ospi.on.ca. Today, I'd like to bring you up to speed on the work OSPI has been doing to provide the necessary support surrounding COVID-19. Our first and foremost concern was for the health, safety, and well-being of our members, especially those who worked in medium to large work sites and thus had higher risk to exposure. With this in mind, and as the Chair of the Construction and Design Alliance of Ontario, I had the privilege of collaborating with my CDAO colleagues including our dear friends at the Consultant Engineers of Ontario to develop new health and safety protocols for COVID-19. Through the CDAO network, we're able to get support and approval from other industry and labour groups. This document was then adopted by the Ministry of Labour and Skills Development and has now been released as the protocols that are being enforced today by Ontario's health and safety inspectors. In the spirit of engineers lead, we continue to work with the Government of Ontario on the Essential Workplaces list to help government policymakers better understand the work engineers do in the various industries we serve, and will continue to do so as the list evolves throughout this prolonged crisis. We have also established a working group with the various industry and labour stakeholders and with senior representatives from the Ministries of Labour and Skills Development, Infrastructure, Municipal Affairs and Housing, transportation, and from the Attorney General's office. This group meets regularly to discuss important issues such as site health and safety, but also issues related to supply chain disruption, contract law, resolving holdbacks for prompt payment, and preventing any reprisals due to project delays caused by COVID-19. OSPI has been sharing the news of how the engineering community has come together and found invaluable solutions to help those in need during this crisis. Whether by creating a website to help those in the community find food and other critical supplies, or by working to donate desperately needed personal protective equipment to hospitals and healthcare centers, engineers are leading the redesign of their own operations to manufacture masks, respirators, and other equipment that is in scarce supply. Every day, we're sharing examples of how engineers care. But we aren't done yet. OSPI really does have amazing affinity partners who work tirelessly to find solutions specific to the engineering community. BMS Group, our professional and liability insurance partner, and Corestone Law, our legal partner, have collaborated to put together a webinar of frequently asked questions that are getting from our members, as well as some tips and suggestions that our members can use to protect themselves from possible negative consequences resulting from the unique situation we find ourselves in. Furthermore, the personal, our home and auto insurance partner, has put together some relief measures for policyholders, including some provisions for policy rebates and additional no-cost coverage provides some peace of mind for OSPI members. Please visit the OSPI COVID-19 page on our website and look under the Resources tab for more details on these updates. OSPI is also working with our business and industry partners to look for more opportunities how it how engineers unite. Once again, we wish to thank our close partners at Consultant Engineers of Ontario, at the CDAO, and our friends at the Ontario Chamber of Commerce, who have reached out to OSPI to join their networks in bringing the voice of Ontario's engineers into developing the solutions that will continue to protect the citizens of this great province. But we'll also work with the government to ensure speedy economic recovery once we have an all clear from our public health officials. 
Stay tuned for weekly updates on the invaluable work Osprey staff, our members, and our partners are doing to lead, care, and unite. I encourage you all to share your own personal stories with us and don't hesitate to contact us with any questions, comments, or concerns. We are here to serve you. Thank you for listening and have a nice day.